Good morning, friends and fellow farmers. I just had to note that the festival has ended. The festival's all done. That's okay. That's a festival we, we take part in, we enjoy, but it's not the highlight of our year. Now, I see beans right away, and I see it's snowing, so I'm going to leave that alone. We don't have to water. We don't have to do anything with that. We just fed the animals last night, but the cats and dog, they might need some food. Ooh, look at that. I don't know what I, was that cherries I just grabbed? Grabbed some that was growing in the winter. Oh, and now we got lettuces. Look at this. I feel like I should be planting something else. Maybe we'll try and remember to do that as well. Go buy some seeds or something. And I need to get some more stone, so we'll have to go pick a place to go do that. I might head down into the mine, just for fun. Okay, Haji needs some food. Well, first off, okay, let's let's put our lettuce in here. How much lettuce? That's sixty-three hundred dollars worth of lettuce. A couple hundred bucks in uh, tangerines, whatever those were. Tangerines. Let's see, sixty-five hundred is eighty-two. Those coffee beans are worth a fortune. <laughs> they really are. Okay, and oh, there's our milk products. Let's get rid of this. We can't drink it anyway. I um, think that's good. All right. Let's get Haji some food. Look at these hens. They're berserk. Okay, I like. I thought that that food would tide them over overnight. No, they're just like I'm dying. Sir, I'm dying. Like, you're not dying. Sir, I'm going to be dead. Hi, Gilbert. Good morning, Haji. Hey, Scout. What's up? Okay, let's just go get some rock. Let's rock and roll. Now... Yeah I, yeah, I think I'll just go to the mine. I wanted to, to kind of root around a little bit more in the mine. Um, here it is. Oh, I, I, it's funny. It took me so long to run into this when I started the game because I just didn't come directly behind my house. Like, the amount of oversight I had going on with that. Yeah, and like, how many cool things am, have I just not seen yet? That's also what I'm kind of curious about. Like tons of stuff, I'm sure. All right, let's get our pickaxe. I have no idea. There's nothing that can go wrong with this, this idea of just mining willy-nilly behind other things. I think there's a reason they, they block this off, because they don't want the zombies spawning back here. I'm going to make a big mess of all that. It's 81 stone. That's good. Perfect. Okay. And then I'm just going to come in through here and just take out some more. I don't know why that's glowing back there, but you know what? That's... Uh, it's fine, it's helping me out. Oh, okay. No, it wasn't supposed to be doing that. <laughs> That's fine. Uh oh, have I, uh, No, okay. I thought maybe I I accidentally it's just the stone itself is causing some interesting stuff to happen. Okay, let's let's get a little bit behind here. Yeah, that's fine. So 
See, what's... Oh, is that the wood coming through the stone there? What's... Oh, I don't know what that is. Yeah, we'll see. At least with this, I like this because um, you can uh, you can just kind of stay in the light, and it's it's a nice. We don't have to make our own mine. That's kind of nice. Twenty eight raw stone. Let's get some more over here. I feel like at some point I'll stumble into something just crazy, but it's hard to say. It might just be, you know, they've done enough. They've built the mine. There might not be any secrets to the mine. We have not really tried to find out either yet, I, which I, is funny. I don't know why I haven't. I like secrets. <laughs> Wow. All right. I guess we'll take some out from over here. Okay. So we've we've pillaged maybe enough on this. Oh, no, I see. This it looks easy enough. Easy pillagings. I'll take some easy pillagings. Oh, I see. Okay, so this is where I came through on the other side there. Perfect. So now I've given the the, the zombies a clear path when they when they want to invade. That's what we're all about here. Now let's go check out the other side. Yeah, I want to go down there. Let's let's pop down here. Oh, what's okay? No, that's just I see. Right, we just end up in the luminescent area. I feel like you're going to get thousands of stone and do this too. But that's not how it works. Yeah, look at this beautiful zone. Oh, this is so cool down here. So you feel like there's got to be some secrets in here. as I smash my way through. Definitely those luminescent, I, that's why I needed down below our house is some of these luminescent uh, mushrooms, very cool. I don't think there's any any secret walls. But then the part of my brain just goes, but what if there is? What if there is? What you always hope for when you go through a swamp, isn't it? Hmm. No, 
nothing there. Boy, it's just that worm, that little bit of worm color that guides you out. You could get so lost in here. I love that too. Yeah, what's this wood pillar about back here? It's weird. You feel like there could be something back hide back here. Oh. Or we could just trash the joint. It's our call, and apparently we're going to go trash the joint. Okay, and there we go. So, can I... Oh, I can't pick up the crate? I should put the crate back. I feel bad about taking people's crates. Let's give them their crate back. Have a crate. It's great to see you. I've had a crate time down here. Now... Yeah, see this whole wood structure thing. It's kind of bonkers. Like, where is this going to? Nowhere, I guess. Feels like it should be going somewhere, though. Yeah, I love the detail. Okay, well, let's get out of here. Let's go back into the other main area where we were causing havoc. So much stone do we have? 750. <laughs> That's not bad. We'll grab a little bit more. I, we're going to blow through it. That's what, the way I feel about the stone supply. So now I know. It's like, you know, never sell anything. I think that's the takeaway, right? Never sell stuff in a game. Wait, no, that's bad. Because that's how we end up with our Stardew Valley hoarding. Okay, how do I... But I want to get my stuff. There we go. Can I get through here? What? How do I... Is my backpack too full? That's curious. How do I not get through there? That's so strange. Oh, I see. I can put stuff in there. Huh. Well, well that's weird. So we can go down even... This isn't where I came from, is it? What? I don't remember that. It spilled over minecart. Who knows what I remember and don't remember that. Is this where the, the dwarves started running? Because there was something terrifying at the bottom. Everyone panicked. This is like one of those areas you're just like, I shouldn't be in here. So I got a bad feeling anyway about this place. But then I just kept digging. Because <laughs> you know, that's what you do. When you're facing impossible fears and existential threats, just keep digging. Same thing applies when you stick your foot in your mouth at a social event. Just keep digging. Don't worry, someone will hand you a pickaxe or a shovel. Whoa, this is so weird. Oh, I destroyed something. Planks. I don't know how I destroyed that. Oops. Okay, I've got some planks now. Oh, I have no idea. 
cool though. Oh, what's that there? Yeah, is that just kind of hiding underneath or was that hiding behind? Must have just been kind of hiding behind as a way of giving some backlighting. Well, that's so cool. is like a labyrinth. Okay, I, s I think I saw over there. This looks like it's unexplored. Alright, I think I've pillaged around here. I just like the, the idea that I can go down deeper and deeper. And then I was kind of, oh, don't make me go to bed. But I, I don't want to go to bed. I've got to continue the dwarves' work. I feel a certain obligation to just keep mining into the abyss. Just an impossible chamber of stark. Whoa. Okay, back out. That's where you panic. You're like, let me out. Let me out. What was down there? I don't even know. It was growling. Okay, what are we? Uh, 999 stone. Did it, And I started a new pile. Okay, I think that's good enough. We'll call it a day there. Call it an evening. Nope. So now I'm never gonna find my way out. Now I'm gonna be like, oh boy. How do we get out? How do we get out? Well. How do we get out? I was kidding. And then I realized I actually don't know how we get out. Where do we come from? You would think this is the way out. Oh, there we go. Little Trixie. And we'll pass out there for the evening. Hopefully, hopefully we don't get attacked by anything. We'll find out though in the morning. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.